Hey, 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 overcomers. Um, welcome back to my channel. My name is Evora Bentley. I'm a faith coach helping others to change their minds so that they can begin to see the world change around them. So I have a really quick message and the topic is what to do when you come in contact with wrong leaders. What to do when you come in contact with wrong leaders. What do I mean by this? Well, a lot of us, we become frustrated. We get upset if we come in contact with leaders who do not perform or, you know, we were disappointed, disappointed. Let's say they show lack of integrity, right? Um, you saw where they may have been treating someone else um, in an organization different from others, uh, favoritism, right? Whether this is in a church, whether this is in business or anything like that, whatever arena it was that you saw this leader perform and it made you question, right? Well, today I want to share with you three things you should do when you come in contact with wrong leaders, with these type of leaders. One, you should take notes. Okay, yes, take notes on all the things you see, not to take notes from a like bad vendetta against them, like, oh, I'm gonna go and tell everybody um, what they're doing or all this kind of stuff. No, this is not why you're taking notes, okay? I'm gonna share with you why you're taking notes. Two, you are taking notes to help you apply, help you so that you don't apply the very things that you saw in those leaders. Nine times out of 10, you continue to come in contact with leaders like this because this is teaching you, is structuring you and actually disciplining you and showing you the direction of what you should not go in so that you can go in the direction that the Most High is leading in you so that you can be a leader with the heart to serve people and not to operate in ways that you have saw other leaders operate towards others. Three, you need to thank them. Yes, you need to thank them. Because as you as you look back and you watch these leaders and you're like, oh, they made this type of mistake. They did this. They did that. Their mistakes was mentoring you up. It was mentoring you up to the type of leader that you actually need to subscribe to and the type of leader that you should unscribe to. Because see, sometimes when we come in contact with those leaders, there are some things rooted deeply in our heart that we don't even realize that the Most High exposed us to those things because we were on our way to what we saw them performing. Yes. We were on our way to what we saw them performing. So you had to come in contact so that the scales could fall off of your eyes so that you can get to the hard work, so that you can deal and heal, so that you also do not operate in such a way overcomer. I hope this encouraged whoever um, needed to hear this message. Um, I know that if this resonates with your soul, it is because you are called to be a great leader. You are called to be a great leader, to impact, to serve, to love, and to help others in such a way to help them elevate to who they were created to be. I love you, Overcomers. Have a phenomenal day on purpose.